right? So now let's load to Kinter. So from to Kinter import star. So that means just import everything that Tekinter has to offer. Whatever it is, import the entire library all at once. Okay, just like we did before, we need to create a window. That's our TK window. That's our Tekinter window that just stays open the whole time. Don't forget to do window.main loop. Otherwise, the window will just open and close immediately. Okay, let's um, let's talk about this new part. In order to have images and to make things move around on Tekinter, we need to have a canvas. So I'm going to call my canvas, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it sandbox, you can call it canvas. I'm going to call mine playground because we're playing and it's kind of fun when we play with a canvas. So I'm going to create this canvas. I'm going to put it on the window. I'm going to give it a width right now that I'll change based off of my the image that I've got going on. So right now I'm just going to say 1200 and the height 1200 as well. Once we find an image, we'll adjust this a little bit. And then I'm going to make the background color. But right now I'm just going to make it red to make it really obvious. When I put an image on there, I just want to make sure that my image is going to be is going to cover the whole thing. Okay, just like with any widget once we, we create it, we have to place it on the canvas too. So we're going to say playground.pack. We're going to we'll pack it because it doesn't need to be placed anywhere. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to pack it in there. Okay. <clears throat> now comes the interesting part, putting images on this canvas. The hard part, I guess, if you will, is finding an image. Um, Tekinter is really picky. Does not like most JPEGs. Tekinter likes GIFs, Tekinter likes PNGs. So I found a couple, I found a globe and I wanted something big. So notice how I searched. I said global image or a globe image. I wanted it to be a GIF. It doesn't matter. It can be a PNG too. And I wanted it to be 1200 by 1200. Not all of them are going to be 1200 by 1200. But if you find one you like, click on it. And then if you look down here, it tells you the size. This one is 1024 by 1024. So this is, this is big enough for me right now. So I'll right click on it. I'll save the image as. And when you click save image as, make sure the format is something that Tekinter likes. Now I noticed I did a search for a GIF, but it brought up a PNG. But it's okay, Tekinter doesn't mind a PNG. So I'm just going to call this, I'm going to rename it something short and I'm going to call it globe and I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay. The next thing I wanted is a spaceship to go on the earth and I found one. I, I even typed in that I wanted something small, like a 50 by 50, but I didn't get anything that was a 50 by 50. This one is supposed to be a PNG and transparent, but I kind of doubt it. But that's okay, we'll fix that in just a minute. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to save the image as, and I'm going to call it my ship. Oh, never mind. Notice came up as a JPEG. So I'm going to cancel this and I need to find another one. This is not the one I want then. Oh, let's just do this. I'm going to open this one. It's pretty big still. I'm going to right click, save image as also a JPEG. You've got to be picky. It's, I mean, even though you were pretty clear that you wanted a PNG, not all of these are going to be a PNG. Um, let's see, let's try the Space Invaders. Oops, open it first. That's important. That one looks like a PNG, but save image as it's a PNG. Good. So we'll call it, um, I'm sure there's a name for these guys, Spaceman. It might be too dark to be seen on my globe, but I'm going to try it anyway. All right, I'm going to save it. And this one's a really big image. So I'm going to resize this spaceman. You have done this in the past. We did this when we were working in um, HTML. So I'm going to do a, the online image resizer. That online image resizer, the one that we used a lot, the one that's the best, I think, is this one, the resizeimage.net. 
I'll upload my alien, my spaceman. That's what I should have called them with an alien. I'll upload my spaceman. And I need to make him smaller. That's way too big. That's going to be take up most of my screen. And this is the guy that I'm going to have moving around the Earth. So I'm going to shrink him by a lot. I want him to be pretty small. So right here where it says resize your image, I'm going to bring it down to like 15% of where it's at right now. And make sure I select the output. I want to make sure it stays a PNG. And then I'll click resize image. I'm going to view that and make sure that's, oh, that's pretty dark. That's going to be hard to see, but that's okay. I'm going to keep it that, that, that picture, but I need to make him a little smaller. He's still too big. Like 7%. Let's try it. I'm going to resize him again. I'm going to view. That's pretty good. That'll be good to move around my earth, my globe. Okay, so I'm going to download this. I'll save it to my desktop and I'm going to rename it because I don't want to have to type that entire name in here. So I'm going to call him Alien because that's what I was thinking about before. I'm going to call this Alien. Okay, so now I've got my Alien. I've got my I've got my globe. My globe has a white background around it. And that's up to you if you want to keep it that way. For right now, I'm going to keep it that way. Let's put those images on the background because that'll be way more interesting. So for the, the globe, the image for the globe, we have to create a variable for it first. And this is a, a type of photo image in Tkinter. And the file we're going to use is the name of the file that we put over here on the side, globe.png. Okay, just like anything else, we can't just call it that, we have to actually put it on there. So what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna call this my globe background. So I created a variable called globe background, and I'm going to tell this I'm going to tell Tkinter that I'm going to say on the playground, I want to create an image and I need to tell it where I want it. So I'm going to just start by saying it. I want it at the coordinates 20 comma 20 and I want the image to be the globe image. Okay, let's just go check that out. Let's go see what it looks like. So I'll press play. Okay, I see the globe, but only the corner of it. That's kind of weird. It's because I said I wanted it at this zero, zero mark. So let's fix that. There's one thing I can add in here that will help a lot. I'm going to tell Tkinter that I want to anchor that image in the northwest corner. In other words, I'm saying take the left corner of the image, the upper left corner, and put it in the upper left corner of the, of the canvas. So now if I press play, that's pretty good. But notice my canvas isn't large enough, but my canvas is taking up my entire screen. So really what I should do, and I'm not gonna take the time to do it in this video, so what you should do is shrink the globe or shrink your image a little bit more. Because if I even if I tried to make the canvas larger, I'm not gonna see it. It's gonna go below my screen here. But that looks pretty good. I don't like the red background anymore. I'm going to make this not as wide. So I'll just do a couple little quick fixes and then I'll put my alien on there. So let's not make the background red. Maybe making the background black would look better. I don't want this to be 1200 in width. Let's try like 800. Let's try that. 800 wasn't big enough, but I like the black. Or was two, yeah, so 1,000. Well, the image did say 1,024, so let's make it 1,024. Pretty good. I'll make it a little bit bigger, and then I'm going to move on. You get the, pit, the point. Adjust this canvas to the size you want it to be. 
All right, now let's put the alien on there. It's pretty much the same routine like we did with the with the earth, with the globe, but we have one separate thing we've got to do. So alien image equals a photo image and the file is my alien. Okay, here's the difference. For some reason, this is such a strange thing, but with Tekinter, you have to do this. We're just going to create another variable for this image. You can call it anything you want, but it has to be equal to the variable you had on the previous line. We're never ever going to use that again. It's something that Tekinter needs, so it doesn't just wipe this alien off of your screen when you're using it in a game. It's silly, I know, but that's where we're going to do it. So we're going to call this just plain old alien. And we're going to say playground.create image. Uh, we're going to place this one like right in the middle, I guess. So 500, 500. We don't have to anchor this one because it's not the background. But we're going to say that the image is um, the alien image. OK, let's run it and see. We should see our little alien on the earth. Oops. Yeah, let's stop and rerun that. There's my alien on the earth. Okay, that's the end of this one. See you in the next one and we'll move the alien around the earth.